Ox for April 3rd, <laughs> Friday, April 3rd. And um, today um, I'm coming to you a little bit different. I'm going to do a screen share here with uh, our new Google Arts and Culture page um, that has just launched this week. Um, great timing for us. And um, this is a project that has been going on for quite some time and it's now able to go live. Um, it's a project with the, the Google Arts and Culture program that um, has uh, essentially an online exhibit for uh, people to see of the artifacts and the stories. Um, they call them stories. Uh, this is sort of a mini exhibit. It's an online exhibit of uh, our current our, our current feature exhibit, which is the Who Cares About the Past, which um, as a result of the current closure for the COVID-19 pandemic, um, you are not able to see live or see in person, but you can see uh, essentially a version of it here on this Google Arts and Culture page. Um, so I'm not going to go too much in depth today into the artifacts and the exhibit, um, but I am going to show you the features and what you can see if you come to this page. Um, you can enjoy the museum's collection um, and you can enjoy it in perhaps a little bit more close up way. So to start off with, these are the 50 items that are in this collection. Uh, currently, there is plans for uh, sort of continuous growth for adding new objects, new artifacts um, to this collection that you'll be able to see. Um, right now, it is made up out of the, uh, the first 50 items from our MOA spotlights, which have been weekly spotlights of different items that are coming into the museum um, very recently. So these are all recent acquisitions to MOA. Um, in particular to the repository. Um, so the repository is a storage and research facility that is part of the museum. Um, it's been uh, sort of developing for the past 10 years or so um, and is now as a result of last spring uh, part of the museum. Uh, so we are one institution as opposed to two operating out of sort of the same space or adjacent spaces. And um, these artifacts are artifacts that are being brought into the repository um, recently um, from some of the partners that we have working with this. So uh, to highlight some, uh, ASI or Archaeological S Services Inc. Um, out of Toronto um, are putting collections into our storage and research facility. Um, as well as the HSTCI, uh, which is the, the, new, the new name for the Heritage, Sport, Tourism, and Culture Industries Ministry with the province of Ontario, um, as well as TMHC, Timmins Martel Heritage Consultants, which is the archaeology company that works out of MOA space as well. So they share um, our, our office spaces near the back of the museum and DR Poulton and Associates as well. And all of these collections are coming from excavations in uh, generally the region of southwestern and uh, sort of eastern Ontario. And they are um, from a vast array of time periods. So these 50 items here, some of them are also included in our Who Cares About the Past exhibit. So I'm going to start us up there. Uh, you can like us if you like, and then we'll know, or you can come back to us. So this, these are some of the, uh, the sharing features um, starting up here at the very top of the page. So you can copy the link to share it with other people. You can favorite it um, with your Google, prof your Google profile. You'll be able to come back to it really easily. Um, if you are interested and you want to share it, you can share it on Facebook and Twitter and um, just generally uh, in other places if you click on here. Um, so here's the first story that we have, and again, we'll, plans are to have many stories, multiple stories, of all different um, topics in relate that are related to the archaeology mandate of the museum. So I'm going to click on here to bring us into that space. And what I really like about, you can like the 
uh, story itself is that this is sort of a scroll through in really um, close up images um, telling the story of the who cares about the past. So this specific exhibit is about um, the process of archaeology here in Ontario, particularly um, contract or commercial archaeology. And I'm not I'm not going to read to you what's what's written here, but the, it is essentially telling what archaeology is and how it works through some of the artifacts that have been excavated relatively recently by the companies and partners that we have. Um, so an escape blade there. It, there's information about where they were found, when they were found, um, some information about the artifact themselves and what they tell us. And this takes you through. I'm just going to scroll this through pretty quickly here. These scissors are sewing scissors. They're very tiny. We have a toothbrush. Um, keep us going here. Some projectile points. So this is sort of a curated version, a story version, a narrative of some of the artifacts that are here. Um, so that's the story itself, and I'm going to take us back to the main page. Um, and here we have sort of in this collection, so you can view all, and these are separated as to where they were found. So we have some artifacts that are Canada as a whole, Toronto area, um, Halton region, uh, municipality, or the regional municipality of Halton, Amherstburg, uh, Vaughan, Dresden, that one just a bottle. I think that one might be a mistake. <laughs> Halton Hills um, and Brantford area. So these are some of the the areas where they were found. So Vaughn, these are the four items that were found there. And Dresden, we have three metal objects, including a small silver ring. Now this is very, very tiny. And what's really neat about this, uh, the Google Arts and Cultural Institute, is how uh, high quality the photos are able to be so you can zoom in to incredible detail about these artifacts and really get a sense of what they look like um, much better than you're able to do in the museum because they're behind glass um, and are quite small so now we can get really really close you can see all of the the oxidization that has happened to these uh, little metal scissors so there's that organization of it. You can also organize by date, if you would like. Um, and let's see what else we have here. We have uh, a Wingham bus token. Uh, and again, you can individually like items and artifacts and you can zoom in to again just this incredible detail which is the thing that i really like about this yeah. um so really really cool so that is our current exhibits that are here on the google art pro um the google cultural program um but as i said we will be bringing in more artifacts more stories, more exhibits um, from more of the, the MOA collection, including some from the very earliest in the 1930s, 1940s that were collected, as well as from the excavations that the museum did uh, in the 70s uh, through the 90s. And so we'll be able to sort of bring all of these artifacts in this high, high detail to you. Um, so if you are interested in seeing anything specific, any type of artifact specifically, let us know um, right in the comments. We can add that into um, our considerations for what we're going to put up here. Um, we have millions of artifacts to choose from, so uh, we would love some, some ideas. Um, thank you very much again for joining us in these MOA Live Talks. 
Uh, we will be here next week again with a few talks. Specifically, we'll have a talk on Tuesday at 1 and Thursday at 1, and our kids' programming will be continuing on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So 1 p.m. Eastern afternoons, Tuesday, Thursday, and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. kids' programming. Um, thank you very much, and if uh, again, if you are um, enjoying the programming that we have and you want to support us at this this difficult time that we're all finding ourselves in, um, we'd appreciate any donations at our main website page as well. Um, so thank you, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>